going on vinyl community welcome to another video with the record spinner in today's video i'm going to be doing a record store vlog shopping at the record collector in bordentown new jersey if you remember several years back when i did my new jersey record store road trip video the record collector was one of the stops that i made and this shop was notable because it was the first time uh, that i had seen a beatles yesterday and today butcher cover um, i know for a fact that it had a four figure price tag and honestly i didn't have it in me to pull the trigger on it i don't know if i still would to this day but it was cool to see one in person and so far it has been the only one that i've seen in person and uh this record store i've been meaning to check out again because um i don't find myself often uh in bordentown it's one of my favorite towns here in my home state of new jersey and i figured i would um take myself on a little road trip pay them a visit and see what i may possibly leave with so without further ado let's go in shall we Alright guys, I just left the shop, got in my car, and 
what was initially a stack of about five to six records got whittled down to three because I did not want to go too overboard today. Um, I stuck within the two figures point uh, when it came to my subtotal. And uh, I can gladly say that I'm not going to look back and be like, oh, I wish I picked that up or why didn't I do that? Because I know that I'll just simply encounter it in the future. Um, did you guys see that Beatles butcher cover up on the wall? That was absolutely beautiful. That was not there the first time that I went because uh, the version that I had seen was the new cover pasted over and you can see Ringo's black v-neck but as you saw somebody very carefully and precisely peeled off the cover and that was a third stage so that was really cool to see I did not dare to ask how much it was just because I'm not cut for that <laughs> but uh but I'm very pleased with what I got and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up so th the first record I'm going to show you is the first record that I said to myself yes this is definitely coming home and it's funny because I was looking at this record up on Discogs and I realized that it was going for a little bit of money and it's obviously out of print and the price tag on it was definitely um from back when this album first came out in 2013. And this was sitting right in the front of the Megadeth artist card. And that is their album, Super Collider. Um, a lot of people don't like this record. Um, it's not as, you know, thrashy as other Megadeth albums. As a matter of fact, I remember when this came out back in 2013, back when I was getting really, really into Megadeth. I honestly dig it. I mean, there's some decent tracks. Super, the title track is, you know, a decent sort of commercialized Megadeth tune. Kingmaker, Burn, Built for War. They do a cover of Thin Lizzy's Cold Sweat, which is pretty solid. And, um, still sealed and that is the price tag on it this definitely goes for about 50 to 60 bucks on discogs so i was very happy to pay what was ultimately the retail price from back in 2013 so glad to have this in my collection then i saw this i've been on a little bit of a uh, runaways joan jet kick as of lately and i saw this this is the first session so these are a bunch of recordings that J uh, joan jet did uh back in 1979 when uh, the runaways had broken up and uh, this was a record store day release from 2015 and um i kind of double checked discogs just to make sure i wasn't overpaying and this literally must have been sitting around in the shop for so many years i do have to say the amount of record Record store day leftovers at this shop from just uh from this year alone was pretty impressive not to just kind of cut into the the hall itself i just do have to say the leftover selection was pretty solid but um this is pretty cool because it does compressed on split color black and white colored vinyl so definitely eager to check out some early joan jet for myself and then the other record I picked up, this I kind of caught uh, at the last minute as I was wrapping up my shopping uh, experience. And I remember that my buddy Patrick uh, has an original of this and he played it at the shop that we work at and I immediately was hooked on it. And uh, granted, this pressing is an unofficial reissue because it hasn't been properly you know, reissued and licensed to a late, uh, reissue label. When I saw it, I had to pick it up. And this is a band called Blue Ash, No More, No Less, a killer piece of power pop. This came out back in and this was like early, I want to say 69 or early 70s. This is absolutely solid stuff. And um, I was very eager to find this unofficial press. I was aware that it existed and then I kind of forgot about it for a while. So very happy that I left with it and uh, definitely was a nice cap to an overall stellar shopping experience. And I am definitely looking forward to when I come back to check out the record collector. So there you guys go. That is my record store vlog shopping at the Record Collector in Bordentown, New Jersey. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the records spinning.